but the next editor in chief of the Cynic is Haley Johnson. Really? Uh, when I first got here, I went to the Cynic and I was like, oh, like, who are these people? And I think I emailed Austin Danforth and he emailed me back. He's like, yeah, our first meeting is today because, like, I don't know, they hadn't posted anywhere. And so I went to the meeting and I was like super nervous because I didn't really understand, like, you know, what was going to go on. Like, was I going to actually get a story? And I think I walked away with like 300 word piece uh, cooking column called Cat Food. Terrible name, but um, yes, Jess remembers. Um, but I was just so excited that I actually had the 300 words, and after that, I just kept coming back to the weekly meetings, and I was so ready to just keep going and to come back to the Cynic and to help it grow and to like work for this larger whole that really could like move forward and make a difference on campus. And I feel like as editor in chief, like that's definitely what I want to do. Like I want to continue helping us grow as a whole. That you know we've just been working on this all for so long, and it's something that we're all so passionate about. I know that um, I definitely want to continue that growth, and I feel like I've got some big goals, and then I've got some smaller ones. Um, my big goals are I want to revamp our training. I feel like this year we tried to work towards training our writers better. And it was steps, but I feel like we can take it even further. I know as a section editor, I found it really difficult to train my writers simultaneously while assigning stories and worrying about how to get everything organized and getting content and filling pages. And I feel like if we were able to separate that out, it would make our lives a lot easier and our paper a lot stronger. Um, so I want to work with Chris on creating a series of classes, not too long, like, you know, three sessions that writers will need to go to and actually get the fundamentals of training. Um, another thing that I really want to do is alumni relations. I feel like our alumni are a huge asset and we really need to reach out to them. Um, whether it's for donations, advice, just keeping them in the loop because, I don't know, the Cynic is a community and I feel like we should really um, use that community to our advantage. Like, you know, maybe having a phone party. Like, I personally would love to hang out and call all the people from years past, you know. Maybe we'll get a few donations in the process, you know. Maybe hear some crazy stories, but I feel like it would be good. I really want to be there for the paper. Like, I want to be a present force in the office, and I really want to work with everyone as a team to make this paper move forward, because I feel like without each and every one of us, nothing will really happen. And I remember the community was one of my favorite things that I loved about the Cynic, and I feel like we definitely need to continue being a team. I want to like be in the office, I want to do my homework in the office, I want to eat my lunch in the office, like I want to be there.